Are you okay? Well, welcome to my channel today. I have decided to make this video in English. Uh, my channel is mainly in Spanish for Spanish speaking people, but I've been doing these funny videos about um, things that I find weird of England and vice versa, um, like differences on the cultural between British people and Spanish people. And I find it very, very interesting. So that's why I have decided to make a short video today, um, just comparing this, uh, the most shocking things for me. Uh, well, not now, to be honest, just when I arrived to England, but uh, I hope that you like it and here we go. Before I start, I just want to make sure that nobody gets offended. This is just a funny and entertaining video um, that I made for uh, just to entertain people and because I think that when I arrived to UK, um, it was quite funny when I was explaining to uh, family, friends, what I was living here and the cultural shock um, as I wasn't expecting many things in here. So please don't get offended. This is just for fun. And if you like the video, uh, just like uh, if you want to leave me a comment, it would be really, really nice. So I can um, see what's your opinion about the topic. So... Well, first of all, the most shocking difference between my country and the UK was the weather. <laughs> most people laugh at me still after so many years living in England because Spain is a warm country. It's warm, yeah, it can rain sometimes, it can be cold sometimes, but when I arrived um, here, I remember it was June, July and... The place where I'm living, it's quite sunny, quite good weather compared to other parts of England. But then I remember the winter was coming, uh, November, December time, and I was like, what? It's raining almost every single day. I need, I bought a pair of boots, an umbrella, then I found out that using an umbrella was useless because it, it, because it rains from everywhere you get wet and it was just horrible when I, I, it took me like maybe a year to get used to it and I'm still wearing all my like scarves and everything in winter and people look at me like oh are you okay and I'm like oh my god same thing after so many years but yeah I mean it's a uh, British weather and if you compare it to Spanish weather obviously you know the difference is gonna be uh, quite big but yeah that's the first thing then, second thing, the main, main, main difference as well uh, was the food. Not in a bad sense, but obviously you know that every culture and every country has their own typical food. So the only thing I knew about England before moving here was fish and chips and the full English breakfast. Well, and I knew that everyone drinks a lot of tea, which is true. <laughs> but um, it was shocking because obviously... I'm still cooking, after so many years, Spanish food because it's my homeland uh, food where my, mo my mom taught me. Uh, but then um, it was shocking to go to the restaurants and taking, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to read through the menu to see like, okay, what's this, what's that. Now, obviously, it's just funny to think about it because I go to a menu and I already know what I want because now I love some um, typical British foods like um, sausage and mash or some pies. Uh, like, I don't know, but at the beginning it was shocking to see the difference. As I said, it took me 20 minutes to run through a menu like to see, okay, what kind of food do, do they eat in, in this country? Um, but yeah, as I said, all this is just from when I, uh, when I arrived. Now everything is like my second home for me, so yeah. The third thing that it was really, really interesting, um, obviously this is not like 100% all of them do the same, but uh, for Spanish people, it's really, really shocking um, that British people are really, really punctual. They are always on time. If you meet with a friend, if you have a meeting at work, you have to be even earlier. Like if you say, let's meet at 7 p.m., you are there 10 minutes to seven or five minutes to seven. Because in Spain, uh, 
maybe not for job, for, for your job you have to be like really careful, but with friends or family you are more like informal, so if you say I'm meeting with you at 7pm, maybe you arrive 7.10 or 7.15 and nothing happens, nobody gets upset, it's like we, we are very relaxed regarding time, so really really quick, as I was explaining before with the food, uh, tea, English tea. Um, it's really shocking for me um, because we drink tea normally when we're not feeling okay, when our stomach is not good, um, not like as a normal thing. We're more like a coffee people, I think, even though we drink some tea, but here is like drinking tea with milk. I was really shocked because I remember first time I asked for a tea in a restaurant because everyone was drinking tea. And I was like, okay, let's try this because it's like really typical in here. And then I saw the girl putting putting the tea bag and I was like, okay. And then when she removed the tea bag, I was gonna straight away take the cup. And then I see her taking the milk, like putting this drop of milk. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> that was really weird. I was like, no, how, how do you drink tea with milk? And now I know that it's really typical in here. Obviously, I'm used to it now. I still don't like tea a lot because I'm more like a coffee person. But I was like, oh my god, it's really, really amazing. The amount of times and the amount of tea that people drink in England is really, really shocking for Spanish people. Okay, and one more, because this is still shocking me. It's not like something from the past, from when I arrived here. Health and safety. Okay, let's talk about this, and I bet that if um, a British person has lived in Spain for a while, they will know what I'm talking about, because this is positive for British people, but we still think that it's a bit exaggerated, in, in a funny way, because they have these health and safety policies everywhere you go. Every job that I've done, even if it's hospitality, office work, hotel work, whatever, first of all, they do this training for health and safety, which I find interesting because you're learning the health and safety things in the country, how does it work and everything. But then something that Spanish people think a lot about British people is that they are scared of fires. They are scared and they think that everyone's gonna die because of a fire. <laughs> and I'm laughing because uh, this is what I mean. So, they do this fire alarm test every single week. They do these drills where everyone has to leave the building. And even when I arrived and I was sharing flats with uh, friends or people that I knew um, at the beginning when I arrived, it was shocking because even when you're uh, using the toaster for a for a toast, um, even with a bit of smoke, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that the toast was burning, just a bit of smoke, sometimes the alarm was so sensitive that maybe at one o'clock in the morning the alarm was off and I was like, what's happening? We're gonna die here! And it's because it's really, really sensitive. Then you've got these doors, these fire doors, uh, that um, I've learned that they take half an hour to burn or something like that. So that's better if there's a fire so everyone can escape the building, blah, blah, blah. And, and yeah, more or less. I mean, there's plenty of more funny stuff and things that we find shocking and vice versa. But obviously the video will take forever. Uh, so I'm gonna stop here. I uh, hope you have enjoyed it, uh, you liked it. Sorry about my English. I've been here for a while now, but I still have my Spanish accent, my grammar mistakes or vocabulary mistakes. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make a uh, same thing for uh, British people or English speaking people to understand. And that's fine, if you like it and if you leave me in the comments any suggestions or anything, I will be more than happy. Okay, so see you really, really soon. Bye!